When you're a working mom, having a great group of girlfriends is essential. Whether you need to vent, or you need help in a pinch, or you just want to feel less alone and share some of your stories with someone who can relate. But how do you get that core group of friends who gets you? Well, find out in this video as you hear from a group of moms who share their secrets about how they found and developed that core tribe of girlfriends. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. I'll start this topic by explaining my friend scenario. I moved away from my hometown when I went to college a thousand miles away, and then I lived in three different states to pursue my career in TV news, but I decided I want to come back to the place where I was raised when I was ready to have kids, partly because I wanted to be around that group of friends that were so close to me when I was growing up. Those girlfriends were critical during the early years of motherhood, planning my baby shower and giving me hand-me-down clothes for my kids and lots of advice about pregnancy and potty training and everything else. But as our kids got older and busier, I didn't see them much. They were in different suburbs and their kids were into different activities. I did get to know some of the moms at my kids' school, but none that I went out with on a regular basis and none that I felt close enough to to cry on their shoulder when times got tough. As a working mother, I never felt part of the mom cliques that formed at my kids' schools and activities until many years later, after I had already suffered through career setbacks and financial struggles without a good group of girlfriends to lean on. And that's what I want to help you avoid by sharing wisdom from some moms I met who explain how they found and developed and still count on a critical tribe of girlfriends. There was a lot of social stress too because you know so many of the moms in our neighborhood, they, they were stay-at-home moms, and so I always felt like maybe I was kind of on the outside. How'd you deal with that? Because I, I, I know I had a little bit of trouble sort of forming a, you know, just a circle of friends. Uh, you know, I, re I was a little resentful for quite some time. I felt very isolated, and I didn't make many school friends because that we there really was that, that dividing line, you know, working mom versus stay-at-home mom. It really was true, and so um, you know, I, I just kind of took comfort in my work friends, you know, work moms, and you know, they were just similar where they were able to make some of those allowances at work to do the mom stuff, but they weren't able to divulge themselves as entirely as so many other moms were able to. That's a good suggestion. So did you end up every so often going out with those work moms? Are you still in touch with some of those? Are they your close friends now? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, we have a, a good network of moms that work and they do um, some other fields, maybe not necessarily, you know, what I do, but, um, you know, they, they understand the struggle, <laughs> the balance. <laughs> I wish I had the ability to maybe forge some deeper friendships, so, you know, but it's, it's very hard when you are in and out all the time and working and, and time is just really valuable. But I've made some really good connections of, of moms that are stay-at-home moms and they help to just be like, yeah, I can grab the kids or, you know, no problem here. And, and that really helps as well. So I think, I don't think I could definitely do it. I think I, I give them 100% of the credit to be able to have that patience and all day long, you know, children. I've just always been in the mindset of work. I think everybody gets in that season of life where you're just busy, busy, busy. I'm pretty lucky though. I, I have a solid group of friends. I'm probably, most of my friends don't have kids yet. And in some ways, some people might think that's not a good thing. But for us, we've been really lucky that they've kind of become aunts and uncles to our son. So that helped us a lot, um, being able to take him places. And we can always take him to a party and leave early if we need to. Or, you know, everybody's been really great. So I think finding a good group of people who allow you to bring your kid, and of course you do have to get out without them. Like you have to find something. So we're lucky we have family who will watch him. Um, and we can each get out for a night here or there. So once a month I go out with my girlfriends and we do it up. We go to Quigley's here in Naperville and we party and we dance and we sing. And you know, sometimes we have one too many and we get home and regret it the next day, but we all have a good time. And I think when you find your core group of friends, working moms or stay at home moms that support you, it makes life easier. And so that's what I appreciate here in Naperville is I found my community or I like to call them my tribe. Um, and we all support each other and you know everybody has a story to tell and everybody needs somebody to lean on and I think when you find your community you stick with it. 
does it help that you have a supportive husband? I mean, he went running over. What, he heard me. I didn't. I didn't even ask him. You're doing something on Working Mom, so he must be proud of the work that you do and, and all that you juggle. I think yes. I mean, he does do a lot. He does make the lunches, get the kids to school. Um, Watches them when you go out with your truck. He does. He does watch them. You no, know, they're safe, right? Yep. Exactly. I don't have to find a sitter. Exactly. <laughs> Did you have time to go and see friends? Did you, you know, have friendships that you lost over the years because you got so busy? I don't know that I lost the friendship. It's just that we all went in our different ways. We had to, we all had our own separate families. We still communicate to this day, but it wasn't, it wasn't like we were hanging out every Saturday night anymore. Um, but now that texting and social media is out there, I mean, I can talk to anybody I went to school with, you know. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think we suffered any friendships. They just drew apart and we still remember everybody. And my husband's really, he's really good. We've got a really good partnership and he's good about like letting me go out with my friends and sometimes I take the baby and sometimes I don't and he gets his time with his friends. I have a good mom group that I, I'm a part of and we encourage each other, we pray for each other, we try to read the word together and yeah, so it's, it's very helpful. We're all in this together and it, just, it's a good reminder that I'm not alone in this, yeah. Make time for yourself. Let your husband know. Communicate that. Um, yeah, take every chance that you can. Take every opportunity that you can to, to get your alone time, too, and to get your friends time and hang out with other moms so that you, you, feel, you know that you're not alone and um, that you, so that you can encourage one another. I hope those insights gave you some ideas about finding and developing those essential friendships that can help you get through the tough times. And I want to help you face more struggles by giving you more tips from other working moms. So subscribe to my Working Mom Warrior channel and click on the next video so you can soak up the inspiration to help you face another day of frenzy and fulfillment.